Hi, it's Deja from CrochetOverAfter.com and right now I'm going to show you how to create a straight seam in double crochet when you're working in the round. So if you're creating beanies or cowls or anything else in the round and you tend to have a slanted seam, I'm going to show you what causes this and also how to fix it. So let's grab some yarn and let's get started. Alright, I'm going to show you how to get this straight seam when you're working in double crochet in the round. You can see my seam right here. It's not um, totally invisible because it is made of chain threes, um, but it's a lot less visible than, say, a slanting seam. So let me show you how I join this and then how you begin your next round. So you're, this is a round of 24 stitches and your chain three is going to count it as a stitch and I'm going to explain why you always need to count your chain three as a stitch when you're working in the round but let me first join this up and show you um, how this is creating a straight seam so i am got one stitch left here for my double crochet so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to join my round at the top of my chain three. So this was my turning, technically turning chain. You're not turning because you're working in the round, but to get the proper height for all of your double crochets, you always want to chain three at the beginning of any row or round that you do. So you'll see that this is kind of a bulky chain three also. What you can do to make your join a little bit less noticeable is to make a bulky chain three, which I'll do right now also to show you. But I'm going to join at the top of my chain three, so here's one, two, and three. And I'm going to slip stitch that. The tighter you pull your slip stitch, the less noticeable it will be. Um, this is a slip stitch right here and down here. So if you pull it tight, it's going to be less noticeable. If you leave it loose, it's going to kind of stick over a lot. So just pull that tight and it'll make it less noticeable. So if I just do a regular chain three, that's the size of my shaft, I'll get kind of a skinny looking stitch as compared to my other double crochets, which are kind of the ones that I did down here. I did kind of just normal chain threes. If I want to mask that this is a chain three, I just pull my loop out just a little bit after each chain. Just pull it up a little bit and chain, then pull it up a little bit and chain. And what that's going to do is when I join, when I make my first um, double crochet, and when I join, it's going to squash it down and make it fatter, which is going to minimize the look of the two side holes that you kind of get where your join is. So to begin my round, to ensure that I have a straight seam, where I joined, and you're going to see that there's also a nice big space here where I joined, I do not work into because my chain three is counting as my first stitch. So I do not work into the stitch that I joined. If this was a single crochet, I would work into that stitch. If this is a half double crochet, I would work into that stitch. But because this is a double crochet and my chain three is going to count as a stitch, I need to insert my hook into the next stitch. So I will insert it right here. If you're not sure where your next stitch is, turn your work sideways and look for your two loops that you can see evenly. As you can see this opening right here doesn't really have two loops. That's where my join was. My first set of V's or my first stitch is right here. So that's where I want to insert my hook. And by doing that it's going to give me the correct number all the way around. I'm going to have 24 stitches, 24 double crochets, all the way around counting my chain three as my first stitch. So I'll quickly work around this round so you can see that joining up is going to give me that straight seam. I'm also, after I join this, I'm going to show you some problems that you may have encountered and also explain why you need to count that chain three as a part of your as a part of your stitch count, because some patterns will tell you to ignore the chain three and just do 24 double crochets in the round. 
And there's a couple different ways that you can join when you do that. But both joins, one is going to create a slant and the other join is going to create a very bulky seam. So you may have to adjust your pattern to get the nice outcome of the straight seam without the bulk. So I'm almost all the way around. If you need to learn how to make double crochets, I have those tutorials available. Have them for working in the round, um, increasing, decreasing, all of that is available. I'm just working these nice and quick so I can get back to my join so you can see that my seam is going to stay straight. Almost there. And what you want to do when you first start your first couple of rounds is make sure that you're counting your stitches because sometimes this last stitch may be a little bit, a little bit confusing about whether or not to work into it. You might say, oh, am I supposed to work into that? In some other stitch patterns, it might be a little less visible. You can tell, once you get a couple rows going, rounds going, you'll be able to see easily that you should be working into that stitch. So if I went ahead and counted all of my stitches around, you would see that including this chain 3, I now have 24 stitches. So now I need to go ahead and join my chain 3 again. So I'm going to insert my hook into the top of the three chains. And that's usually what your pattern will tell you, join at the top of your chain three, and that's what that means. And then I just slip stitch. So, as you can see, by doing the bulkier chain, it kind of pushes it out and makes it fatter so that the little hole is not as visible. And I get a nice straight seam going all the way up. So let me show you now what some problems you may have encountered in the past depending on if the pattern is written a certain way or if you just happen to work it a certain way because sometimes they're not quite as descriptive as you would hope they would be. So this pattern here, this sample, it told us that the chain three counted as a stitch but instead of starting our first double crochet in the stitch after, we joined it at the same stitch as our chain three or in our joint. So when we worked around, we got to 24, and we have that extra stitch that didn't get worked into. We just joined up with the chain 3, and now we have a slant and a big hole. So make sure that you're not starting your first double crochet in the same stitch as your join, because that is what's going to happen. So if you see that happening, you're missing that first stitch. You need to move it over to the first double crochet you come to. So... The next one I have, this one, the pattern tells us not to count the chain three as a stitch. So when we work it, we chain three and then we're double crocheting into the join, but unlike this sample, we do a double crochet in that last stitch. So technically we'll have four, 24 actual double crochets plus your chain three. And then it's having you join it not in the top of your chain three but in the first stitch that you made of an actual double crochet. And what this does, you see it's a straight seam but it's a bulky seam because your chain three got pushed to the outside. So our join is up here on this first stitch and our whole chain three, there's one, two, three, got pushed to the outside so it creates a bulky straight seam. So this is why we don't want to count our chain three or not count our chain three as a stitch. If you count, don't count your chain three as a stitch and join at your chain three so I have 24 double crochets plus my chain three, but I joined at my chain three, I get a slanting seam. Here's my seam right here. So if they tell you don't count your chain three, but double crochet all the way around and join in your chain three, it's going to give you a slanting seam. So whenever your pattern is telling you not to count your chain three, 
these are the two outcomes that you can have. If you don't like either of these and you want that straight seam, you're going to have to adjust your pattern. Just remove one of the double crochets and use the chain three instead. So if it tells you to chain three, don't count it, and then DC or double crochet 24 times, only double crochet 23 and count that chain three as your very first double crochet. So that is how you are going to create that straight seam when you're working in the round and double crochet. If you have any questions, leave me some comments below and I'll answer them for you as quickly as I can. Thanks a lot.